what is going on youtube we are live and we are in the drone room that's about as organized as it gets right there <laughs> um i'm just gonna give you a, a little pan around my drone room and then uh we're gonna get off this feed and we are going to start trying to clean up the drone room uh, i've been pretty productive today already so we are going bam not drone shoes i like shoes too um we are going to try to clean up the room so la la coup Laku, what is going on? Bam, happy to see you here. So, drone room here. We got drones out the wazoo. David Smith, what's going on, brother? I'm going to try to clean up my life a little. I'm going to try to clean up this drone mess, my drone horde. Um, as you guys can see, we got a massive, massive horde here. Um, good to hear you well, Laku. And bam, we got more drones over here. We got drones up there. See, these ones are kind of organized. And then we get over to this table, where it's just like a drone collage. It's just like a drone monster came over here and went bleh, and just like puked all over this table. Um, I do sell some, mainly uh, DM009s, which I don't see a DM009 in here. Uh, bam, that's basically DM. Les, what's going on, brother? That's a DM009. I have them in white, though. The boxes say black, but they're really white. Um, I was selling Alcemas. I'm not selling any more Alcemas. Um, I, I've sold my limit on Alcemas. Alcemas is my favorite drone, so we're going to end up keeping that. I got uh, my blue Alcema over there that I custom painted. And then we have a uh, monster Alcema back there with DJI legs on it. But, uh, yeah, so that's the mission for today. Mission for today is clean the drone room. Uh, will you ever do a giveaway? Will I ever do a giveaway? I've done giveaways. Um, I don't do them on YouTube, though. Generally, it's incorporated with Drone Days. If you're not on Drone Days, get with the times. Drone Days is the best Facebook group playing point, period. Just saying. Um, give me one drone, please. Give you one drone? Uh, dude, I'll give you one drone if you give me two drones. That seems fair, right? <laughs> um, guys, I, I, dude, I work for a living. I work, dude. Uh, I'm still waiting for my one i'm still waiting for my one now that's an addiction what stan and road killing the house and perth west stars yo we we got we got triple hitters here what is going on guys um i i don't think i've seen all three of you in a feed in a long time uh cleaning the house bro uh not really the house. Well, I guess kind of because I got drones spilt into the main part of the house. So we got to clean in here first. Christopher, what's going on? We got to clean in here. Give way for a subscriber. Love it, bro. Buy more. Dude, uh, I got more drones coming in the mail. Um, Yeah, man. So we're, we're going to try to clean up in here. That way I can get my other stuff in here because... Uh, we're going to start to remodel my house. Uh, I'm going to start remodeling my kitchen. We're going to start remodeling my uh, guest bathroom and then the living room. So all my stuff needs to be out of the house and in this room. And uh, the floor in the kitchen is going to be next. So literally all my stuff has to be out of the room. And if you guys like drones, which I'm sure a lot of you guys like drones, you can tell, which I'll you here, you can tell how surface space gets. If you have surface space and you have drones, well, guess what? The drones are taking over. And this is just a horrible, horrible mess of freaking drones here. <laughs> um, can I see JJRC flying Santa drone? Um, no, you can't. It's not in this room. It's not in this room. That's what I'm saying. I got drones out there that I need to bring in here. That's one of the drones that I was playing with uh, first. Remodel your house for a drone track. Wife wouldn't be too particular on that. Um, LOL, we wouldn't be here if we didn't like drones. Bam! Very good observation there, and I kind of thought the same thing. Probably wouldn't be here if you didn't like drones either. And you can see I got drones hanging on my walls. Like, there's just drones crawling all over this room here. If we just turn the camera, bam! We got drones there. King drone room, absolutely. How many do you got? I don't know. Perth West, uh, Dave, I have no clue, man. Al Sema, CG Black, V3, where do you, 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 what? Where do young your drone? Don't know what you're saying. Here, check it out. This was my first drone. That's Sky Viper. Sky Viper was my first drone. And then, bam, Striker was my second. And third was this guy. Third was this drone. And then after that... I can't really remember what was after that. I can remember my first three drones. After that, it's just been a landslide. Um, 
I'm gonna show you my LED light, so bear with me. It's gonna get really bright. I have a killer LED light. That was my first two, brother. The the 950 HD Sky Viper, dude, epic camera on it. Um. That was my first drone, but I learned to fly in a striker just because of wind conditions. I didn't want to break it. Where do you buy your drone? Uh, 90, nah, I'm not going to say 90%. I'd say about 70% online and the other percentage uh, in store uh, if I find a good deal. Here, check this out. I'm going to blind you for a second. It will transition. Look at my LED light, dude. Look at those LEDs. That is ridiculous, right? There's no reason for that. All right, we're going to go back down. How do you keep up which remote goes on which? Um, I have them all memorized. I have all my remotes memorized. But as of lately, if you've been watching my channel, this guy's been taking over. I got this. This is a universal remote. Uh, like that chandelier LED. Yeah, dude, it's ridiculous, Perth West. <laughs> I mean, I got a, I got a cool lampshade on it. Like the lampshade's pretty cool. Um, but the LEDs in there is just ridiculous. Yes, this jumper controller, dude, is a multi-protocol controller that will control a lot of things. Um, it controls this, it controls that, it can control the XK, it can control that. Uh, it can control this, it can control that, it can control that, it can control not this one, I don't think, but the original one, which I'm not sure what it is, can definitely control that. Uh... Yeah, dude, jumper, jumper's epic. And not only does the jumper control these, it turns them into turbo mode. It turns them into beast mode. Like traditionally, I did a review on this. Um, yes, this can handle certain GPS drones. Uh, what's the jumpers worth? Um, I think they go, I think you get them around $80, uh, sometimes a little bit less. I'm not sure. Um, I know I have a code for them. And here, check this out. I was messing around with this the other day. I think it has the power to handle this. Uh, what JJRC drone? I'm not even seeing a JJRC drone. Uh, Alcema. What do you wait, wait, wait? With GPS? Yes. GP. Alcema has GPS. Um, JJRC drone. The only JJRC I see is JJ Pro Hacks. I do have other ones over there, but in this vicinity, um, all my JJRC came online. No retail store sells them. But here, so we unscrewed that antenna. Check this out, man. Just flew my 502. Dude, you're killing me, Les. I can't get my 502 to work with it. I got it to bind with it once, and then after that, done deal. So check this out. Bam. <laughs> Look at this, dude ridiculous right and it just threaded right on there and i think this has enough power to actually power this antenna um devo 70 with deviation or jumper uh this this is running off deviation and uh i believe it has devo in it um but yeah dude look at that that's ridiculous right <laughs> Uh, again, I don't know if this is going to work because I know higher antennas need higher power, but this is said to be able to go up in power. So, uh, once the weather gets nice, I'm doing range tests on it. I'm doing it stock with this antenna and then we're going to see if this gives any type of increased range. Um, that's a bit ridiculous, but it screwed right on. So I tried that yesterday. Uh, but yeah, guys, so, uh, bam, um, that's that's our goal today is to clean up clean up the drone room that way i could put everything in that way we could start moving forward with uh with my house <laughs> start 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 modernizing my house because my house is dated um it's definitely not modernized you can see wood paneling all over it's it's kind of ha kind of has like late 80s 80s early 90s facade to it and we we want to we want to modernize it or go with like maybe my wife's thinking like a retro look for the kitchen. Uh, just join you. Say you're not selling Alcemas anymore. I am not selling Alcemas anymore unless I get another shipment, which I don't. Oh, maybe you're talking about that JJRC, the H97 um, online. Um, I know you have SEMA X8C somewhere. Uh, I do not have the SEMA X8C somewhere. I have the SEMA x8hw um i don't have the x8c i'd, re I'd prefer the x8c over the hw just because the x8c to my knowledge doesn't have altitude hold although again i'm 99 sure i haven't tried it that will bind to it and that'll cancel out a lot of the altitude hold that'll probably also cancel out the down uh kill throttle feature that uh that SEMA has, which is a very poor feature. You hold down and it comes crashing to the ground. But uh, yeah, no, I, I'm done selling the Alcemas just because uh, I've 
dude, I've sold them for close to a year now. I've probably gotten rid of over 100 to 200 of them, and my supply is very limited, and it's my favorite drone. So I need to I need to keep parts one on standby. I need to keep one or two good ones on standby for me. <laughs> uh, I, I've done people epic deals. I was getting rid of them for 160 a pop shipped. Didn't matter where you were. Uh, it takes some time, sometimes to bind. Wait, it will bind in time. I will try it when I have more time. As soon as you started to buy drones, wouldn't it have been sense to pack them away in the boxes before? No. Nope. Absolutely not. We did that. To pack the drones in boxes, which I did, I held on to every single box. This room? You see all the drones? Here, check it out. Box because I haven't used it in a while. Look at a box, dude. It's three to four times the size as the drone is. It does not make sense to do that. Um, sorry, don't make sense to me. That don't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to keep the boxes because the boxes are generally two to three, if not four times the size of the drone, and you're occupying more space. I mean, it's simple boxes take up a shitload of room, and I have hardly any compared dude they do like uh, trust me when i first started this room ended up being like a box like a box warehouse i i've done i think two to three box burns uh, and the first one it hurt me because <laughs> i'm a hoarder at heart and it was like uh giveaways i'll do them in drone days as i find time and as i have time we will do giveaways i'm not sponsored by anybody i don't have sponsors occasionally rc moment will throw me something occasionally very rarely gear best will throw me something like that i think that's only happened three to four times gp toys has fell off the map as far as stuff like that goes i don't have sponsors guys i'm not sponsored by anything 90 70 percent of the stuff in here i've gotten hard cash uh, I'd say 20% I've gotten on discount, and then about another 10% I've gotten sent to me for, for reviews. So I don't have no guy behind me backing me for reviews. So the reviews that for the, the 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 giveaways that I do are out of my pocket. The shipping's out of my pocket. Um, Perth West has he's won on a on a on a win on here, dude. I sent stuff to Australia. I have another friend, uh, Emil from Africa, dude. I sent stuff to him, and uh, other people have won in the United States, which hurts my pocket a lot less. But dude. I, I've sent stuff worldwide, and that comes out of my pocket. I'm more than happy to do it, but I'm not rich. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not rich. Um, I, I, I'm financially stable, but I'm not rich. Uh, I wish I was rich, but I'm not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, as far as the box things, that's a no-go, man. I mean, as you can see, I still have boxes in here. Like, uh, we, we still have F100 box, and like I still have boxes in here. Some of the smaller... Uh, dude... No problem, Dave. You, uh, I shot, dude, I shot myself in the, in a foot double time with that one. Figured nobody's going to get this. This is a safe bet and bam, you got it like that. Um, so no, that by all means, dude, I'm a man of my word. And if I say I'm going to do something, definitely going to do it. And we definitely did it. But, uh, as far as boxes go, it can't, dude. I mean, even that fat box there is for that drone right there which it's never going to go in the box so at some point i'm going to break it down but i'm holding on to it because i do ship a lot of stuff out why are you not selling me alcema anymore i've gone over this once or twice i'll go over it again uh hey jay just got my jj pro hex any good advice uh not to do um jj pro stand by um i'm not selling alcemas anymore because i've sold them for over a year and my supply has gone down to the point where i'd like to keep what i have because the alcema is my favorite drone done um jj pro it takes a long calibration procedure. Bear with it. Do it Do it steadily. Don't do it super fast. Do it steadily and go through the motions with the calibration procedure. It takes forever. If you are going to underhang a camera on it like the Q6, do not do it during calibration. Otherwise, you will lose control of it and possibly have a flyaway like I did. Um, if you want to underhang a camera underneath it, do it after calibration. It will operate fine. I have videos on both of those um so definitely keep that in mind it is a pretty durable drone it dropped from pretty high and did not break uh so that that's definitely a plus on that anybody else have any questions comments concerns uh we'll pan around the drone again here just to show you stuff so you can't get any more can't what let me tell you something about that word can't i do not like that word can't um <laughs> excuse me this ain't grammar school uh but uh can't 
Okay, I saw I saw the drop. Dude, yeah, my freaking uh, my Q6 is mildly busted. I can operate it, but the start button is uh, the start button's finicky. So to go out in the cold and play with it, I'm not gonna do warmer weather. I probably will be able to use it. I'm probably gonna end up getting another one because that Q6 was dude. The Q6 was king, man. It's strapped underneath anything, but I uh, can't. Can't is not in my vocabulary. I can do whatever I want. Anything is feasible at any point in juncture in time. Um, yes, I can absolutely get more out Senmas. That's not an issue. I'm not going to. Um, I when when I got the out Senmas, I got the out Senmas just because I'm a drone hoarder at heart. Uh, not really to make make money on them. Although in the beginning I made a decent amount of money off of them, I'm selling at high retail over two hundred dollars. But when I started chunking them at one sixty, dude, one sixty for an semi ship, two to three day shipping, you're getting them for like one thirty, one forty, even one twenty if you're in Florida or Cal California. My profit margins weren't great. I wasn't making a lot of money on them. Again, I wasn't trying to make a lot of money on them. I was just pushing them. At this juncture, I'm dude. You, you could like I still have some of them, but they're mine. I'm keeping them. Um, at this juncture, I would like to organize my house. I would like to organize my drone habit because it is a habit, like anything else. Because, dude, I'm constantly buying. I'm buying faster than I could fly them. Um, and to to have an inventory like that, dude, my DM009 inventory is ridiculous. I have a garage, a sunroom. And, uh, and a shed full of DM009s. And I'm off those for ridiculous prices. I'm off those 35 shipped anywhere in the United States. And if I had a really good friend wanted one outside of the United States, I'd probably do about the same deal. Um, I, I need to organize my life a little bit. It, it, it's cool being J-Drone, which, dude, I love being J-Drone. Uh, but as far as, I, I don't have a warehouse. Again, I'm a blue collar worker. <laughs> I'm not rich. Uh, I, 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 went, I ordered tons of stuff, man. And I didn't do it in the juncture to make lots of money because I make money. I work and whatnot. I did it because I'm a little bit screwy in the head. And uh, it, it's it's been a little over consuming. And I'm trying to get my bearings back, trying to get a little bit organized. Uh, because I've had this, I've had this room... I've had this room cleaned up a lot of times. Um, love my drones. Happy y'all love me being J-Drone. I'm always going to be J-Drone. Going to do the urban exploring thing and going to continue with drones. Going to continue modding drones. Going to continue pushing limits on drones. Uh, you need to get some 1X, 12X right, angle brackets on the wall. 3 inch part. Yeah, dude. Uh. Definitely, definitely could utilize some wall space. I got fresh wall space over here too. Even on these doors, I mean, I've been what I've been thinking is just get rid of these doors. Uh, I have, I think, I don't know if you could see it back there. There's maybe that thick of clothes in there. I don't use that closet for clothes, so what's hanging in there, I'm really not using. Just to drop those doors out, which are simple, and that'll give me an extension of room here. Um, Air drone by Tech Tours for Christmas. Which one? Um, did you get? Hell yeah, hang them on the walls. Yeah, I've already started hanging them on the walls. Um, we got ones over there. We got the ones behind me. Bam. And uh, which arrow drone did you get? Did you get this little guy here? Or did you get... Uh, bam. That guy over there. Uh, the Wi-Fi one? Or the Hex? I like Air Drone. Or Air, Air Drones. I think Air Drone Tech Toys. I think tech to yes tech toys makes aerodrome <laughs> um which one did you get did you get the hex did you get the wi-fi one or did you get the mini one wi-fi bam you got that one um which i don't know if that's actually yeah i think that's actually in the box I have two of them um bam so the the on the wi-fi one the 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 spit it out j drone the cell phone mount on that is king. It'll hold... The cell phone mount opens up to like that. It'll hold... Uh, love your channel, dude. It's helping me a lot. Tracy, happy it's helping you. If you ever need anything, comment wherever. Um, I, I generally try to get back to everybody. Uh, but the cell phone mount on the Aerodrome Wi-Fi, it opens like that. You could put most touch pads in there. I've had large Amazon fires in there being my display screen. So uh, that that's 
Keep keep that mount. You ever kill that drone, keep that mount. It'll slip over top of any antenna. And actually, nope, I don't have it. My Phantom, my DJI Phantom, that's what I have the mount on it because I use touch pads for that um, on there. So the dude, that's a king mount. Absolutely, it's a king mount. All right, guys, if you guys are just about done job drawing me, we're going to get cleaning here. I will do one more can of my drone insanity here. Um, and vintage game systems, dude. I like, dude, uh, I'm a mess. <laughs> um, we did here. We, my, my, my two sparks are out there. I have two sparks. Uh, so do you have any DM009s? I have DM009s for days, $35 shipped to the lower 48. And if you are outside, I'm going to charge you a little bit more uh i almost got my second flight i was flying when it was too windy be careful flying in wind um what was i saying sparks dude i picked up a dji spark yesterday got one in 500 for it alpine white came with landing pad came with uh the hand guards that go underneath to protect your hand kind of like spider webs that come off the side of it um i think it came with one or two other things got one in 500 and it's not insanity it's controlled chaos it's it's mild controlled chaos that's a good way to put it um or chaos is kind of uncontrolled so controlled it's controlled chaos we're gonna stick with that but dude i got another spark my first one was yellow and i paid out the wazoo for it um my alpine i got an alpine white one for what i pay I, I, I agreed to meet the guy, $250. I didn't think he'd bite on it, but he's like, okay, $250. I'm like, what? Dude, I'm going to go grab it. I'm, I'm telling my wife, I'm out. She, we got stuff to do. I'm like, dude, we got to wait. I got to go get this before somebody else grabs it. So we meet the dude. I, I met the dude. I left my wife at home. I meet the dude in Walmart, like in the, in the entrance zone. He comes in with a box with all the stuff in it. I brought one of my batteries with me just to make sure I had to charge batteries so I could test it. Um, I got the guy down to 250 already. It needs to update. The update is taking forever. So screw the update. We're going to take it outside and just try to spin the motors. I want to see if the motors fire. Too cold. The battery's too cold. We're also next to an airport. No fly zone. So there's no way I'm going to be able to test this. I know that. Um, I know that. It says no fly. It says can't fly. So in this juncture, the guy's like, well, let's wait for the update. Maybe it's the update. So we're waiting 10. 15, 20 minutes. It's like, dude, I'm done. I'm walking away from this deal. Let me take my battery out of here. We'll put your battery back in. We'll put it back in the box. Uh, <clears throat> I said, unless, unless I could get this for 200, I'm gone. I don't got the time to play with this. Guy's like, can you do 220? I'm like, no, dude. I, I can't fire the motors and whatnot. Uh, Andy, what is going on, brother? Um, I can't fire the motors, so... Uh, no, nah, dude. 200 is... What? He's like, okay, take it for 200. Got it home. Updated it. Did a test fly in my house? Bam! $200 Alpine White Spark. Um, I got two of them. Ridiculous. Uh, so, And the way I got that deal is Facebook Marketplace. Check your local marketplace. People will buy these drones for people. People will buy them for themselves. They'll buy them for the relatives. And they won't have no interest in them. So they'll want retail for them, but in all reality, they want money because they overspent on Christmas and they got bills to pay and uh, it's cold out and they got heating bills to pay. So they just want money. So generally, if you throw money at people, they'll take it. And even if they don't want to take it, you're there. They'll take it. Um, Holland. What? Uh, let's see. La Lowlands. Pete, what is going on from Holland? I'm tired of buying and losing them because... They don't have range or they're junk. Um, dude, if you're losing drones, you need to be more careful. I've only ever lost one drone. It's cold here, too. I bet it's colder in Holland, though. We're at negative three. What you at in Holland? Um, all these drones in here. All these drones. Bam, light's horrible. Let me flip this around. If you are losing drones, you need to be careful. All these drones in here. I've only ever lost one, and I have it on video where it went, and I'm pretty sure a gnome popped up out of the ground and took it. You need to be careful. You need to know the range uh, Fahrenheit. I'm actually in Fahrenheit, brother. I'm not sure what it is in Celsius. Um, you need to be more careful. You need to test the range of your drones. Like, this drone, uh, no, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Um, I'm in Hungary. What's Hungary in the house? Hungarian? Um, I'm or hungry in the house. Hungarian 
person in the house. I'm actually Irish, um, but I'm in the United States. This draw in here is rated. Know your ratings. Know what they'll go for. Watch reviews. That's rated for 240 feet, which is shy of 1,000 meters, which is not great. Most drones can do uh, 300 feet, which is about 1,000 meters. So is that drone a garbage drone? Um, I'm saying they lost signal. So this drone is not a garbage drone. It's rated and it does what it's rated. It actually goes a little bit higher than what it's rated. If you're losing drones, if you have quote unquote junk drones, then obviously it's not a drone for you or a drone that you're willing to work with. Everything in here, all the drones that I'm showing you, a lot of people would consider junk drones. Some of them don't get good range. Some of them get great range. But I'm a drone-aholic. Uh, I want to get a Bugs. Should I wait for the new lineup? Go for cheaper. Um, you want to get, you, dude? If you're gonna get Bugs, uh, weather not good here in UK. I can imagine, man. I got a friend up in Canada that he says it's like negative 30. So I can imagine what the UK is. Look, if you're gonna get a Bugs, um, get get a Bugs three. Uh, unless you have to have uh, pizza. What is going on, brother? Um, Mike, the mechanic, what is going on? I'm well, how are you? Um, if you're going to get a Bugs, get a Bugs 3 or get a Bugs 2. What's the difference? Well, if you need altitude hold and GPS, get a Bugs 2. If you want to challenge yourself and have a drone you can grow with, get a Bugs 3. Uh, they're very versatile. The Bugs 3, uh, you can attach a GoPro underneath it. You could attach a wall carrier gimbal underneath it. You could put the Q6 underneath it. You could put longer landing gear on it. Um, you can put you can put 5 .8 gigahertz on the top of it. You can put 5.8 gigahertz in a grill like I have with this one. Hold on. I'm trying to flip around here. Three. Yes, the Bugs 3 is king. Um, check it out. So that camera in its mouth is a 5.8 gigahertz camera and it plugs directly to it. Uh, bugs don't have that much range. I have four of them, all the newer ones. Bugs has enough range. <laughs> uh, unless you are going for a long FPV flight where you're trying to push over a quarter mile or so, the Bugs will go about a quarter mile, if not more. Um, the Bugs too, some don't follow proper startup and get the name normal nine for a friend crashing it now carries my note card for startup no problems absolutely hello i would like a parrot two souvenir i don't have parrot twos but uh yeah dude and as far as this as far as the bugs too dude people are going well past 999 meters with that that's insane for a drone that uh I can't fly my Bugs 3, just can't find a sweet spot. Um, dude, insane. You can get these drones with codes for like 140 and for the thing to do over 999 meters and come back on a fail safe when you press it, bang for your buck um if you guys aren't familiar with vipin vipin.com you can get you can generally find a Bugs 3 and a Bugs 6 for uh for under eighty dollars, they're not on there now, but keep an eye on them. Uh, I'm fixing to get a Bugs 2C. Thanks, J Drone. Yeah, dude, Bugs 2C versus the Bugs 2W. Unless you're really going for, uh, unless you really need that FPV setup on the screen, I don't know. I uh, can't get more than two hundred meters out of the Bugs 3 and 6. Then you're, do dude. If you can't get more than three, what would you say? Hold on, more than two hundred meters out of the Bugs 3 and 6. Two hundred meters. 400 meters is a quarter mile, so you're you're getting about half of what I've gotten and what I've tested. Um, I've already seen. Hey, what's better, sharper image or Sky Viper? Uh, I don't know. Got sharper image up there. We got Sky Vipers. Depends which ones. Uh, let's see. J Drone. What's up, PC YouTube? Um, if you're not getting that range, I don't know, man. Maybe you're in a highly congested 2.4 gigahertz area. I took the Ghost F100 drone. I think almost a half a mile. I think I had it almost a half a mile. I get easy 400 meters out of my Bugs 3 and 8. Yeah, dude. Perth West is saying the same thing I'm saying. Um, and I can visually visually go up. When you're, when you're going 400 meters, that's about a quarter mile. I can still have my eye on a pinprick. And uh, you hook FPV up to it. I've gone, I've gone a quarter mile definitely with them. And that's, again, 400 meters. 
I have the Bugs 2W, but last week something happened, and I don't really know why I raised it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I raised it at 220 and lost connection in the remote control. Any idea why? You could be in a highly congested area. You might not have done uh, your, your calibration properly. If you guys aren't flying in a wide open area away from residential communities, you're going to have these issues. And... I was a dot on the video. Yeah, dude. That's, uh, I mean, I've strapped, uh, dude, I, I've done it with the Bugs 2. Uh, I've done it with the Bugs 2, and I'm pretty sure I've done it with the Bugs 3, where I've gone the distance, FPV, hooking up a 5.8 uh, camera, which I will show you the camera I like to use of choice. Whoop. Sorry, guys. I should have turned that around. This is my camera I like to use of choice. That's my setup. <laughs> camera, AKK camera. And, uh, yes, weak batteries. If you don't got fresh batteries, that's going to do it, too. And then a uh, little thing here. This can go on anything. We can FPV this guy. Bam. FPV'd. Done. We can, uh, we can FPV this guy. Bam. FPV. Done. Th this is my general setup for uh, doing FPV. This thing, it's an all-in-one, man. Um, there's lots of other cameras. This is just the one that I prefer to use. Thanks a lot, Jay. There's an airport at 2K. That could be doing it too. Airports throw off a lot, a lot of signals, and uh, that could be interfering. Yes, I have one very nice flyer. Hi, Jay. I am a dealer for Splash Drones Canada. You should help me sell some. Um, Andy, if you are a Splash dealer, from Canada, you're right above me. I'm two states down in the United States. If you want to sell, if you want to sell splash drones, get in contact with me on uh, on Facebook. And that's all I'm gonna say. I, dude, I, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna touch too much into this just because this isn't about sales. But uh, Al Senmas, I've sold Al Senmas for a year, year and a half. And went through 100, 200 plus of them. DM009s, which are over there. DM009s, dude, I've gone through probably three, maybe 400 of them. I, I'm, I'm very good at, uh, one, I'm very good at sales. I, I have a background in sales. Two, I'm very good at marketing. Um, Social media is the king way to market nowadays, but that that's all we're touching on that. This isn't a sales group or whatnot, and I do run sales group on Facebook too. <laughs> um, can you give me Facebook? Can you give a Facebook link to me? Um, Facebook link for what? Uh, drone days. Go on any of my YouTube videos, you'll get to drone days. And uh, again, uh, if you want to get a hold of me on Facebook, easiest way to do it is go to drone days. I'm the admin. I'm the only admin. Um, can what is your facebook link andy if you go to facebook type in drone days we're at like seventeen thousand. there's still like, there's like two or three drone days dan hall in the house what's going on brother hopefully you're staying warm um andy go or somebody dan hall bam dan hall's in the house copy drone days link somebody perth west somebody copy drone days link for andy and hit paste so he has it um because he's looking for drone days, and that's the best way to find me. I'm not giving my name over YouTube, although once you get the drone days, you can look at the admin and find out exactly who I am. Uh, so that, that's going to be the easiest way for you to find me. We could chat on Messenger over there, and I, I have, dude, I have a fail-safe plan for you to... Uh, for you to be successful. <laughs> I'm kind of selling myself, selling, try, trying to sell myself to you, although you've already sold yourself to me and uh, whatnot, but... Uh, Bruce Don, uh, no problem, guy. Um, but yeah, dude, ninety percent of my videos are linked, or even, dude, even my YouTube in a, in the main picture of the skyline or of the city line, the dark night city line. In the right, drone days is there. Um, so that's that's definitely uh, definitely what you guys could do. But uh, bam, Lowlands Pete says bam, bam. <laughs> um, but. Uh, Guys, unless anybody else has any questions, comments, uh, you should have over 1 million subs. Uh, won't let me your web address. All right. I'm sure you can find it. It's not too hard to find. Um, 
I should have over a million subs. I've only been at this one year. J Drone's only been on YouTube one year. We're doing good. We're almost ready to hit 4K, and it's rolling a lot quicker than it was. Um, if you think I should be at 1 million, help a brother out. Link my videos on your timeline. Link my videos elsewhere. If, uh, if you appreciate what I'm doing, you can help me. <laughs> uh, I'm more than happy to accept help from people to help J Drone grow as a community because that's what you guys are watching me. You are J Drone community. Um, we do the drone thing. We do Urbex things. We do the Walmart Bandit thing where I'm running through Walmart and getting people to uh, to say, stop doing that. Um, Dan Hall has a link there. Check that link out. It might work for drone days. If not, uh, if not again, Check out my videos. 90% of them have it linked just as I'm starting to link my Instagram. I, I, dude, I got Instagram now. Um, and uh, I'm on Instagram too. So uh, that's where we're at, guys. Uh, we are Jabber John. We've been Jabber John for 35 minutes. I had to delete the half first. The first half. All right, Dan. I appreciate your help, brother. If, uh, if he don't get it there, I'm sure he'll get it elsewhere. We need to clean this room up. I tried... Hold on, typing too fast. I tried to bring it down with auto return home and manual, but it didn't come down. Battery, she fell down, but I was lucky because okay. Um, do you know of any boosters that can work for ranges? Um, drone day on Facebook, it would let me post the web link. Um, drone days, or what, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, dude, it, exactly how I hooked this up. You can hook up boosters that actually have their own power um, that'll amplify this. I guess they're called amplifiers, and that'll thread right onto this, or maybe you'll need a female to female. Okay, Jay, got a bill, and hit the sec. Some RC filming to do tomorrow. First West, Dave, again, I appreciate you stopping in. It, will, it was... Uh... Definitely, definitely good to have you here. As always, your input that you put in, telling about the drone, uh, telling about the bugs too. Also, appreciate you chiming in. Guys, Perth West Oz, he's another drone guy like J Drone. He's from Australia. If you want a different take on things, go ahead and check him out. Um, bam, Dan Hall subbed to Perth West. Um, that's what this is about. It's a community. We help one another. Uh, but all right, guys, unless you got anything else for me, we are going to try to clean up the insanity that is this drone room. I'm looking up on Facebook now. Bruce, no problem. Uh, if you go to join, look, you're going to have to join. Uh, yep. Later, brother. Uh, you're going to have to join. I'm going to be cleaning my room, so I might not approve you right away. But uh, it should... Uh, should, you, you'll you get approved eventually <laughs> because again this is priority trying to clean up this that way I clean up the house that way we, we start remodeling um but uh guys anybody have anything else you have so many drones i do have so many drones i'm addicted i'm addicted and hat is coming off heat's a blazing let's see how hair is eh, not bad not bad for having a hat on not bad at all um but yeah so uh Full effect drone cleanup in the house. Guys, appreciate y'all stopping with me. And uh maybe we'll do maybe we'll do a recap on this once it gets all clean. Need a bugs three or force one F one hundred. Yes, you do. Um either or works or the same drone, just branded different. And the newer F one hundred has a different top shell. But uh here, check it out. The worst drone ever. Worst drone ever. I don't know why I keep it on. Just throw it away. Kind of, it looks cool. That drone would never fly for me. But uh, all right, guys, we got this. I gotta be productive. Productivity is a must here. If you have not subscribed to this channel and you're watching this, smash that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to click a like, we got 15 already. Let's see if we can get 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see if we get 19 likes up there. Um, which drone is your favorite? My favorite one is the Alcenma. Bam. That drone's my favorite. Alcenma. Which, that's what that is, but I painted it. Um, later, bro. Keep warm. It is cold. It is absolutely cold. Uh, so, uh, yeah, guys, and if you have any further comments down below, comment, and on the description of this video, before I start cleaning, I will put the Drone Days link down there. Um, bam, we just got 18, 19 likes, uno mas, uno mas, somebody else smash that like button and we're at my quota, what? <laughs> I get nothing for the likes whatsoever, it's just, uh, 
it's good to see little likes. Um, there's the 20. Bam! We're at 22. We just smashed. Bam! We just smashed the like button. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Um, again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button too. We do a lot with drones. We do abandoned urbex stuff. We're at 24 likes. This is ridiculous. Um, we do a lot with uh, abandoned finds too, as I have time, and tons with drones a little bit with rc cars and as, as of late 25 likes ridiculous 26 likes getting crazy in here um we've been doing a lot with the jumper somebody just recanted a like what we were at 26 bam we're back at 26 um i've been doing a lot with the jumper guys I'm sorry if some of you are getting a little bit bored with this, but I think this is a dope, dope device. And somebody just recanted their, uh, their like again. What are you doing? We were at 26. Recanted, liked, recanted. Nah, I'm cool. I don't, well, not that I don't care, but it, I get nothing from it. Bam, we're back at 26. Somebody's screwing with me. Uh, I really like all your videos, Jay. You're the best. Mike, I appreciate you. Um, I'll, be, I'll be watching for a box burn. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's not too. It's cold out, but we could probably still do a box burn. My uh, my little hole in the ground that I, I've devised uh, is probably full with snow, but we can get some lighter fluid on it. I don't know that we're gonna do that today though. Uh, main priority is organization, and uh, and see the room's actually not bad. I had. I had this entire section cleaned up, and I've just been pulling stuff, connecting it to that. So to get this area cleaned up isn't going to be difficult. Uh, to get this area cleaned up isn't going to be difficult. This area is going to be difficult. So the goal is going to be clean this, clean that, so it's all open space. Start moving all this stuff over here, and then slowly start putting... This stuff that we moved over here, back over here, but organized. Uh, I was selling Alcemas, and that's why all the Alcemas are like that. They were neatly stacked in there. And, uh, yeah, somebody's on that like, not like, we're going from 25 to 26, 25 to 20. <laughs> but, uh, all right, that's the point, guys. Maybe later on we'll do a recap. Uh, I enjoy talking with you guys. I enjoy uh, doing this live feed thing because I could interact directly with you. And uh, it's cool. Again, link for Drone Days will be down below. We'll put my Instagram link down below in the comments. So give it about two, three minutes after this feed ends. And uh, yes, we are going to stay warm. I don't know that I'm going to go outside. If you do want to see Crazy J Drone outside, uh, the F100, I took outside. Snowstorm, wind, 20 mile an hour, 25 mile per hour gust, 30 mile per hour gust, and we flew it. Later, guys. I'm J Drone. Again, smash that subscribe button. And we are going to hit end here somewhere. Crazy J. Yes, Crazy J. J's a little woo, woo, woo. But um, all together, we got, we're, 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 we're here. But we're also over here. I'm a little, woo. <laughs> like here, woo. I'm over here and here. <laughs> um, all right, later, guys. Take care.